So we are now in a good situation to look at the code for this. Uh, I'll go ahead and include all the headers first. So I'll just again just include all the headers. You can include the ones that you really want. So we are in the we will use the name std namespace. I'll open up the main function. If you see the format of the input, they are giving you an n and the entire array. So let's go ahead and take take those two inputs. So I'll just see in n and I will see in my vector now. So I'll declare a vector of size n and now start a loop. And just see in all of these. So now I have I have all the input in place. Now my actual code will begin. So let's try and recollect if we we had to distinguish the lower uh, the first half of the uh, mountain from the second half the first half was increasing the second half was decreasing so if i use a predicate saying that uh, is array of mid greater than array of mid plus one so that will be true for the second half because that line is decreasing and it will be false for the first half and what am i looking for if you see for the peak also this will evaluate to true because at the peak because it is the peak it is greater than mid plus it is greater than the element to the right of it so we are look so th for the peak also it will be a true so hence we are looking for the first t in this let's go ahead and declare our low to be zero i as the last element and i'll just declare the mid so let's start a loop as long as we have more than one element in the search space. Uh, we'll come back to the mid computation. We will first make the decision. So let's go ahead and make the decision. Uh, so we'll just write the predicate if px. So what is px? Array of mid greater than array of mid plus one. So if you are at a t and you are looking for the first t, uh, what what should you do you can ignore everything to the right of it but you cannot ignore this right so i should be mid updated to mid otherwise if you are at an f and uh, so you can ignore everything to the left of it including this so low becomes mid plus one now you can do the mid computation this block is progressing so lower mid should be used so mid is low plus I minus low by two and once you are out you you can do some sanity check uh, if you see the question do you really need a sanity check because you are guaranteeing that a peak always exists and the array is at least three in size you don't need to do a sanity check so you can simply uh, return or see out they are asking for the index so I will just see out the index. They are actually asking for the position and not even the index in the question. So uh, for index three, the position is four, one based they are asking. So I'll just see out low plus one. Let's go ahead and submit this. I have this open in front of me. I'll go ahead and submit. I have copied the code. Let's go ahead and submit and just making sure that the. Okay, so this is this is the wrong code this is not the actual code i'll just copy the code from the buffer so i've copied it to the clipboard this is the code i will go ahead and submit this you can track the progress here yeah it got accepted <laughs> 